Now, almonds are awesome, but are they gonna help you improve hair loss? Well, we're gonna find that out in this video. We're gonna look at what almond oil is, how it works, how it can impact hair growth. We're gonna look at the scientific studies and then I'm gonna finally show you how you can start using almond oil as part of your hair care routine. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed YouTube videos just like this one, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. So guys, into the video on almond oil. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk to you about the latest research regarding the use of almond oil for hair growth, and then I'm going to show you how you can get started today using almond oil as a hair loss treatment. So first we're going to look at almond oil and its origins, and we're going to look at its chemical makeup which contributes to its overall health benefits. Then we're going to discuss how various scientific studies we show almond oil benefits and then how effective it really can be at treating hair loss. And then I'm going to show you a hair care recipe that you can try at home. So first guys, what is almond oil? Almond, oh, excuse my Latin pronunciation, however, almond is also referred to as prunus dulcis and prunus amyg amygdalus. Now it's a species of flowering tree with origins in the Middle East, the Indian subcontinent and North Africa. The flowers produced from the tree range in colour from white to pale pink and they bloom 7 to 8 months before the fruit of the tree, which we know as almonds, has matured. Almond oil is an oil obtained from the seed of the almond fruit, which is composed of a combination of monounsaturated, polyunsaturated and saturated fatty acids. Now it's used in a variety of industries from cosmetics to culinary uh, to medicine and is, an, is a highly prized oil and used throughout the world. It's comprised of both omega-9 which is oleic and omega-6 which are linoleic fatty acids and is uh, beneficial in various medical conditions. So both of these omega fatty acids are vital to human health and they play a crucial role in a variety of human body processes. Omega-9 fatty acids, for example, contribute to cardiovascular health and improved blood lipids in type 2 diabetics, while omega-6 fatty acids are vital in, in its contributions to reproductive health and metabolism regulation. Additionally, omega-6 fatty acids have been shown to stimulate hair growth and contribute to the overall health of the skin and hair. Now, while researchers is currently limited, almond oil and its variety of nutrients shows promise in treating various forms of alopecia. Now, Two components of almond oil which cannot be overlooked are its flavonoids and phenolic acids. Both of these constituents make up a large percentage of almond oil which is seen to the table to the right. Now what does this mean for your hair? Well both flavonoids and phenolic acids have been shown to have antioxidant properties. Antioxidants play a vital role in the slowing down of oxidative stress and this can have a positive impact on individuals with androgenetic alopecia. Oxidative stress is a process responsible for various signs of aging, including greying hair and thinning. Essentially, oxidative stress leads to an imbalance within the body between free radicals and antioxidants. Free radicals are atoms which steal molecules from vital proteins and lipids, causing them to break down. Flavonoids and phenolic acids, however, playing the role of antioxidant, swoop in and save the day by ceasing the molecule scavenging process. In individuals with androgenetic alopecia, supplementation with antioxidants can reduce the damage, such as inflammation and immune reactions caused by oxidative stress. The phenolic compounds found abundantly in almond can have other positive effects too, as seen in a 2014 research study which showed the effect that almond shell extract had on tinea capitis, also known as scalp ringworm. Scalp ringworm is the result of a fungal infection. The infection penetrates the hair shaft, leading to alopecia, and is the number one cause of hair loss in children. There was a study done, and after six months of symptoms, which included itchiness, redness, inflammation and hair loss, a five-year-old patient received an antifungal compound which actually showed no effect on the infection. The shell extract of prunus dulcis was then applied three times daily. Within three weeks, the patient had completely recovered from the infection and without any adverse effects. Within a month of starting the treatment, the patient's hair had regrown in the previously bald patch. This study just further illustrates almond oil's antioxidant and antifungal properties. Now, let's look at oleic acid and linoleic acid as DHT blockers. 
Well, a Japanese research study looked at the impacts that oleic and linoleic acid had on the inhibition of 5-alpha reductase, the enzyme which is known to convert testosterone to DHT. Individuals with androgenetic alopecia, or AGA, have inherited a sensitivity to DHT. This sensitivity leads to the hair thinning and loss seen in patients with male pattern baldness, and also contributes to the miniaturization of hair follicles as illustrated on the right. Now, oleic and linoleic acids, however, both have strong inhibitory effects on 5-alpha reductase. This means that less DHT is produced within the body, leading to less hair follicle miniaturization and damage. Does this mean that those looking to use almond oil as a treatment will see results? Well, almond oil contains high levels of oleic acid and, to a lesser extent, linoleic acid. As inhibitors of DHT, there is no doubt that the supplementation of almond oil will have a positive effect on those with alopecia. And while there have been no human studies yet performed to show the beneficial effects of almond oil on hair growth, the study, the study that we're about to go into provides proof as to almond oil's hair growth effects. So we're going to look at a study done on rats which can still be relevant to human hair. Now, as mentioned, there are a variety of compounds found within almond oil which contribute to its hair growth abilities. It does help, however, to see an in vivo example of almond oil in action. A 2009 research study sought to do just that, and it asked the simple question, does almond oil contribute to hair growth? So what happened is the study consisted of 30 rats, all of which had a 3cm3 section of hair shaved from their dorsal region and an application of a commercial hair remover to ensure thorough removal. The rats were then split into six groups of five. The six groups were A, control, B, prunus dulcis, petroleum ether extract, then you've got a methanol extract, a chloroform extract, and a water extract, all of prunus dulcis, and also minoxidil. Now, the rats received one daily application of one of the above six treatments for a total of 30 days, and skin biopsies were taken at the 10, 20, and 30 day marks. Additionally, hair was plucked randomly from the backs of each rat on the 15th, 20th, 25th, and 30th days of treatment, and hair length was determined as mean length. So, ultimately, the researchers discovered that the petroleum ether extract of almond was the most effective at converting hair follicles in the telogen phase to anagen phase and was also an effective promoter of hair length. In fact, the petroleum ether extract was just as effective as the minoxidil treatment. And while the petroleum ether extract did perform more favorably, the three other extracts did show themselves to be more effective than the control results. While researchers were unsure of the reason for the almond extract's effectiveness, they hypothesized that an increase in the number of epithelial cells located at the base of the hair follicle were responsible for conversion from telogen to anagen phase, as well as a prolonged period of active growth. So that study was done on rats. Can almond oil be used in humans the same way? While there have yet to be any human studies done on the use of almond oil for treatment of alopecia, the results above do show a promise and provide future researchers with a starting point. As members of the mammalian class, both humans and rat hair growth cycles are very similar. Both experience the anagen, telogen and catagen phases of hair growth and both experience hair loss for similar reasons. This means that the effects seen in scientific studies done on rats can uh, in at least some part, be assumed to be similar on humans. So, as promised, I'm now going to share with you a shampoo that you could use to start using almond oil at home. While there are certainly beneficial effects associated with oral consumption of almond oil, the most direct way to treat hair loss with the supplement is through application to the scalp. What you'll need to do is get half a cup of water, half a cup of liquid castor soap, a third of a cup of aloe vera gel, one teaspoon of olive oil, two to three teaspoons of almond oil, and 10 drops of geranium essential oil. Just simply combine all the ingredients together and lather into uh, wet hair and then massage it into the scalp until it's completely covered. Leave it for three minutes and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Now the benefits of this is that the unique combination of ingredients contributes to hair growth and strength and will protect the hair shaft from damage, which may lead to brittle or dry hair. The liquid castile soap acts as a gentle cleansing agent, leaving your hair free from pollutants, hair products, and DHT buildup. The aloe vera balances the pH level of your scalp, promoting healthy hair growth. Olive oil, the main moisturizer within this recipe, hydrates the hair and penetrates the hair shaft, leaving you with strong, healthy locks. Of course, almond oil contributes to this shampoo's hydrating effects, as well as fighting any antimicrobials, such as fungus or bacteria, found on the scalp. 
Last but not least, geranium essential oil has been shown to increase circulation to the scalp, delivering essential nutrients and promoting hair growth. What about side effects? As with any supplementation, it's best to approach use with caution and understand that no matter how rare side effects may be, they can still occur and in a variety of ways. As a culinary agent, almond is safe for human consumption, though you should limit the amount which they, you consume. Moderation, as they say, is key. For individuals with chronic conditions or for women who are nursing or pregnant, consult with a medical professional before supplementing with almond oil. Drug interactions may occur as a result of almond oil's variety of minerals and vitamins. Now, while human research has yet to be done on the use of almond oil in the treatment of pattern baldness, preliminary studies done on rats do show almond oil to be an effective promoter of hair growth. Further, almond oil's antioxidant and antimicrobial properties contribute to its use as a hair loss treatment and may provide those with alopecia relief from DHT's most common side effects, including inflammation, sensitivity, and hair follicle miniaturization. Is almond oil effective for those suffering from advanced alopecia? Well, while its application may provide some relief, don't expect almond oil supplementation to make a huge difference in your hair. For that, you need to fix the underlying cause, then you can use almond oil to accelerate that new hair growth if you want to. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on almond oil. If you are new to the channel, do make sure to hit subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Thanks.